Hey Mark, <clears throat> this is Dallin over at Iron Chest SEO. Just wanted to leave this complimentary website video for you guys, uh, website audit. Uh, I'm just going to drop in some tips and tricks here that you guys can use today uh, to start implementing to beat out your competition online. Uh, this is totally complimentary. The only thing I ask is if you can get some feedback on what you thought about this video. So today I'm going to go over the three things, citations, content, and backlinks. So first up is content. So Content is king. Google likes to see a lot of content across your website, and there's a few reasons why. One, it's going to let them know that you're, you know, you're the expert in your field. And two, it's going to give you the opportunity to get in some of the high quality and relevant keywords that the Google users are searching for. So if you have these keywords on your website, you're more likely to be found by the Google users for these services. So Pest Control Phoenix. Pest Control in Phoenix, Phoenix Pest Control. I do know that you guys have these two keywords in your website, but you don't have Pest Control Phoenix or Pest Control Phoenix Arizona. Uh, another one, you know, Exterminator Phoenix, Phoenix Exterminator. Uh, you know, you guys do have this keyword here. So Pest Control Phoenix is not in there at all. Exterminator in phoenix right we see that here if we're looking down here exterminator in phoenix it only gets searched 10 times a month but exterminator phoenix gets searched 450 times a month and phoenix phoenix exterminator gets searched 300 times every month so if i was wanting to get found for a keyword like Phoenix Exterminator, I would come in here to my website and I would have that exact match keyword and some of my headers. I would have it down in my content as well. And I would even come over here and save these images as keywords. I did see that this is optimized here. It says pest control service in Mesa. It's kind of contradicting because you have a bunch of content on here wrapped around Phoenix and then you also have something about Mesa. So I would change these that way they're all matching and showing uh, keywords for Phoenix, uh, you know, for that area alone. I wouldn't have it contradicting on having different areas in here. That's why you guys have different pages built out for Mesa and Chandler, etc. That way you can get those keywords on those pages. But if this page is for Phoenix, I would keep everything about Phoenix. So that'd be my number one tip for you guys. I see that you only got a thousand and 91 words on here so to be authoritative in the area you want to have about 1500 words of content and get in some of these high quality and relevant keywords like phoenix exterminator exterminator phoenix pest control phoenix and so on and so forth it's just a way to manipulate the algorithm and letting them know that you're doing those services that way that the google users can find you so the next step here is i'm going to be the google user and i'm going to go in here and Google Pest Control Phoenix. So the first thing that you always see up here at the top is your, you know, your local service ads and your PPC. Both are very effective to get into. I highly recommend it, you know, especially this time of year when the pest control services are, are picking up. The next one down, this is your local map pack. I see that you guys got a lot of reviews and that's really good. So the three things that you're going to want to do to get up on the top of the map pack is you're going to want to get a consistent review pattern. You're going to want to be responding to the reviews. You're also going to be wanting to make weekly Google posts because Google likes to see that you're interacting with your customers and that's a really great way to do it. Lastly, you're going to want to create a lot of citations for your map listing. So citations are simply just web directories. Anywhere where your business name, your business address, and your business phone number is listed is considered a directory and that's going to run a citation back to your website. The more citations that you have, the more authority and rank that you're going to have in the map pack. So that's very important to get up here. These are going to convert right around 40%. A lot of calls come in off of this one here. The next one down, this is your organic traffic. So looking or thinking about organic traffic and Google, it's Google's just one big popularity contest. So the more backlinks that you have running to your site, is going to show Google that you're more and more authoritative than your competitors. Okay, so looking at this tool that I use called Arifs, it is just a tool. It's not 100% correct all the time. 
uh, but it does update with Google regularly. So we can see that you guys have been around for quite some time now. You've got a UR rating of 38, a domain rating of 23, and you've got 766 referring domains going back to 4,100 backlinks. You're getting found for 8,600 organic keywords, and you've got roughly about 3,300 people traveling to your website every month. So looking at some of the keywords that you guys are getting found for, okay? So a lot of these are coming in on your blogs. So should I buy a house that has been treated for termites? Best bee killer. Can cats kill scorpions? So none of these are really relevant for pest control in Phoenix itself, okay? So anybody in the world could be looking up, should I buy a house that has been treated for termites? So what we try to focus on is buyer intent, location-based keywords like Pest Control Phoenix or Exterminator Phoenix. So I've narrowed this down to a little bit to take out the blog content. And so we can see some of the keywords that you're getting found for. KYKO Pest Control, you guys got 32 people coming in on that. It's really good. That means you guys are building a good brand name for yourself. Uh, having people just come straight up looking for you. Okay, but here are some of the buyer intent keywords like Phoenix Exterminators, Phoenix Exterminating, right? You guys don't have any traffic coming in on this because you're sitting back on position 30 and 31. Uh, so there's those two. Let's see if we can find another one. Pest Control in Phoenix. We've seen that's a really hard, large one. No traffic coming to your website on that one because you're sitting back on position 55. Okay, so looking at one of your competitors, this is the last thing. So this is greenhomepest.com. You can see that they've got about the same kind of ratings as you, uh, still been around the same. So about the same stats on, on long-term and URDR. They've got 356 referring domains going back to 10,900 10, backlinks and getting found for 12,000 organic keywords. So looking at their organic keywords, and I do this have narrowed down where it's not looking at their blog content either, but you can see Pest Control Phoenix, they're sitting on position three for this. And so they've got 172 people traveling to their website every month, just looking for that one keyword. Uh, Exterminator Phoenix, again, 450 searches, they've got another 40 people traveling to their website looking for that keyword. So I know that'd be a big game changer for you guys. Uh, anyways, just to recap, 1,500 words of content on your home page. Get in some of these high quality and relevant keywords in there so you can get found more by the users that are searching for them. Create some citations for your Google listing to rank higher in the map pack. And then start getting better backlinks to your website so that uh, you are more popular than your competitor and you can start ranking higher and higher uh, for these keywords. If you'd like to know more about uh, how we can help you guys implement this, feel free to reach out. If not, no worries, man. I really appreciate your guys' time. I hope you uh, have closed more than just those few leads and uh, that you guys have a great year. Thanks, Mark. Take care.